Hi there. Um, here's an unboxing of the uh, Wizwar expansion, um, which I was surprised actually. I'd subscribed to the Wizwar thread, and um, I remember a while back somebody saying, "Has it been forgotten? Will there ever be any expansions for it?" Um, and there was a bit of debate on that. I was really pleased to see that uh, a new expansion's come out for it. It's this is um, the 2012 FFG, the Fantasy Flight Games edition. Um, still made by the designers, or I should say the designers on this were Tom Jolly uh, along with Kevin Wilson. And it's from Tom Jolly's original cult classic from 1983. Um, it's, it's, that's when Wizwar uh, first came out. There's loads of self-made copies and then of course in 2012 FFG got hold of it and, and along with Tom Jolly and Kevin Wilson made, made, made this game here, which is great and quite a while really for an expansion to come out, a couple of years nearly. Now we have the um, the expansion which adds a fifth player. So without further ado, let's open up this box here now. This came today. And uh, like I say, from what I've seen on the net, I think it's going to be one of them half sized boxes in depth. That's what I'm guessing. If I can actually get in here. Go. Oh, all right, and actually, the smaller box itself, a cool little box. Get out the, uh, the old receipt. Oops, goes the chicken. Right, let's have a look. That's surprising. I like that. I expected it to be the full size. I don't know why, but a lot of manufacturers make it the full size, don't they? And then, and then half the depth. And if you can see on the box. So there's in, in relation to its size. It's actually three quarters the depth, I'd say, and uh, considerably smaller. Uh, a little bit of weight in here, so that's just, that feels good. And it's Wizwar Malefic Curses or Ma Malefic Curses expansion on the FF sign. Um, death stalks the labyrinth. Uh, slowly, Dorzeal pulls his. Cadaverous body to a standing to a standing position. Mysterious energies weave between his bones and sinews, reassembling his body as he shambles towards the wizard's labyrinth. Once inside, he intends to show those young upstarts how a truly ruthless wizard duels. The Wiz War will never be the same. The fierce Wiz War competition starts anew, with deadly tricks and devious curses. Dorziel, a long dead necromancer, has risen from the dead to calm his rightful place. At the, as the top spellcaster, to claim, I should say, his rightful place as the top spellcaster. His entrance opens up a brand new section board, allowing up to five players to vie for the title of Guildmaster of the Arcane Order. Wizwar Malefic Curses also introduces three new schools of magic, which is pretty cool. Wizards can now trick and curse their rivals with the School of Hexcraft, harness the entropic forces of the universe with the School of Chaos, or gain mastery over life and death with the school of necromancy. Will you claim victory or will death claim you? So there we go. And it says the game uh, requires the Wiz War base game to play, obviously. And the game contents is one rule sheet, one sector board, one plastic figure, one plastic base, 72 magic cards, quite a, quite a lot of cards in it. Uh, of course, another life tracker, two treasure markers, eight hex markers, 16 object markers, Four portal markers, four plastic portal stands, six hat tokens, and sixteen energy tokens, and it requires two, uh, two lots of protective card sleeves, and it says fourteen plus two to five players in one to two hours. So, let's open this up. So there's quite a lot in here for an expansion, and it is quite nice that you can mix the uh, the wizards round now, but also that you can. You can play that that fifth player if there's five people um, wanting to play a game, then this one can come out. I haven't seen a, a new Fantasy Flight book for a while, so I'll look at that after. So here we go, we've got the Wiz War Malefic Curses, components list, the expansion overview, really nice artwork. Five player setup, so it's in like a cross. Um, that's quite apt, really. We've got all the what all the different things are here. Schools of magic. 
teleportation and the marker and token key on the back uh, optional rule, extended flash energy uh, stun effects, multiple targets teleport clarification so a nice rule book there not too much to digest so this should be quite good um, first thing, nice bright colours so we've got the, the little wheel uh, disc thing there um, some nice tokens I think best open this up that should be me in yes there we go of course here's the fifth player board on the back and they are quite cool little player boards aren't they I mean double sided there we go nice thick sturdy and nice bright nice bright colours and we have the punch sheet here with all the tokens on and the little hat tokens and of course the wheel and the treasures as well we come into the box got this little baggie with four clear stands um, a little fastener for the wheel now I did have a spare one in the base game so I, I didn't know I'd be getting a, another one as well so we've still got a spare one and we've got the little wizard himself here or necromancer Okay. So here he is, uh, the wizard, the necromancer. Um, very nice detail. As you can see, he's got like a scroll in his hand here, and a staff, like an orb or something on the top of it. Big long hair. For anybody that likes painting. Uh, He's in his grey primer ready. And of course, so very nice addition to the game. And um, there's the wheel put together. I say the you know, anybody that's got the base game anyway will realise these are superb quality, superb quality wheels. I punch the bits now, all over here, and tokens. I'll just have a quick look at the cards. I do apologise earlier on, uh, it's a bit fuzzy the video, I don't know what went wrong there with the, with the autofocus, but here we have a look at these cards, we've got cloak, I mean the artwork, fantastic, you know, Fantasy Flight do a really good job with these sort of things, we've got Cloak of Shadows, and Yank, Energy Cards, Boneyard, N of 8, Drain Life, it's all good fantasy. Screaming Skull. Known a few of them in my time. Flash Energy. Yeah, it's all very, very good stuff. Scourge. I mean, lovely, lovely artwork on these cards. Very fantasy, vibrant and bright. Really nice. So all in all, with the fifth player, you get a hell of a lot more stuff to the to the game, which is, you know, it's a cult classic. It really is a great game. I've sorted the tokens and stuff into my box. The expansion's going to go in my little segment box. All fits in the main box. And uh, great stuff. So um, there you go. That's uh, Wiz War the Malefic uh, expansion from uh, Fantasy Flight Games. Thanks for watching.